man, like, sometimes I just wake up, I don't even be caring. Like, it just be what it is with me. Like, for real, for real. Like, don't don't put nobody else's life in my hand. Like, don't do not do that. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't never been no, no honest person. Like, man. Well, I mean, I just think that, you know, once Willie is gets himself together and like I said, we will definitely sit down and do a more serious interview because I think the world does need to know how that meeting really went. This is just so bizarre. I have to share this with you because it just absolutely makes no sense to me. What you just saw was a clip, and I'll play it again, of star witness in the YSL RICO trial against Young Thug in Fannie Willis's district of Fulton County. Uh, we all know him. We all love him. Lil Woody. What you mean? Huh? I don't know. What you mean? What you talking about? That dude. <laughs> um, it, it's just so bizarre. So he's literally talking, doing a live stream with the attorney that he fired back, you know, uh, early on in the case referring to the ex parte transcript which we did an entire video on uh i'm going to talk about that in a second but we did an entire video going through highlighting that the transcript was over 50 pages but it's beyond any scope of logic reason or any reality that i would even consider uh, uh, uh amenable that a star witness in a trial would be going live on social media with an attorney he fired and essentially admitting and talking about an investigation, an ongoing case that is now paused really because of him. Uh, and he's talking about it publicly. How does this make any sense to anybody? Can somebody make sense of this? Remember, here's a clip I'm going to share with you really fast. He fired Kayla, this is attorney uh, uh, on the left side of your screen. That's attorney Kayla Bumpus. He fired her. He goes, she fired. Watch this. Is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She fired. <laughs> She's fired? Okay. So <laughs> you wish to represent yourself in, 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 this particular, words. in terms of any issues you may have in this particular... Do I got a choice? I'm sorry? Do I got a choice? Yes, you do. And what are those? You can keep your lawyer that you have right now. I don't want her. All right. You could, um, you could certainly hire, an, hire another lawyer or the court could appoint you a lawyer. Do what I need a lawyer for. It's just, it's just, the court is just asking you whether it's your, it's your, it's your choice, sir. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Ms. Bumpus, <laughs> did you file an entry of appearance? All right. Did you, under the Uniform Superior Court rules, file a um, a motion to withdraw pursuant to the Uniform Superior Court rules? I mean, I, I know you give an oral notice, but usually that's to be in writing, and he has 10 days to object. Well, Judge, just for the record, I'm going to Say again. I was never his counsel. Attorney Young was his counsel, and I was stepping in as a courtesy for judicial efficiency. But if the court's desire for me to file a motion to withdraw, well, given the fact that uh, you have represented uh, Mr. Copeland at this point in time, uh, it would seem appropriate that you do need to, in fact, file a formal withdrawal, um, even. Remember, this is Kayla Bumpkus. So she was in the ex parte meeting, which essentially what the transcript. So just to kind of back up really quickly, remember, this is Judge Suge Knight Glanville, who's asking uh, little Woody, do you want to represent yourself or what do you want to do? And he says she fired. Um, remember, he was uh, he held a secret illegal ex parte meeting without the defense present. We did a video on that phenomenal video. Uh, you can find all these videos on my channel. And uh, he tried to hold Brian Steele, defense counsel for Young Thug, in contempt. And uh, if he didn't tell him how he found out about my illegal meeting. <laughs> 
And then he arrested uh, Brian Steele literally in court, live in court. I have that whole entire video. And then he got pushed back. The Supreme Court uh, allowed Brian Steele to stay. They overruled Judge Suge Knight Glanville. And then after tons of pushback, you know, he had to humble himself and essentially release the uh, uh, the transcript uh, uh, inciting that he uh, thought that the ex parte meeting was proper by trying to uh, justify that meeting, which there there is no justification. You cannot have an ex parte meeting with the prosecution, a key witness, and not only not uh, let the defense know, but not have the defense presence. It makes zero, zero sense. There is not a lawyer on planet Earth that would call that legal or, or, or would say that that's not unethical. And so then... Then we have, you know, uh, uh, the trial is on pause now. So now there is going to be another judge because the defense filed a motion for recusing uh, Judge Glanville. Uh, now there's going to be another uh, hearing to see about this recusal of, you know, whether or not that ex parte meeting was proper, improper, legal, illegal, and another judge is going to oversee that, and, and hopefully very quickly, because the jury is sequestered, and this jury is, everything is put on hold until that gets solved. And then uh, Caleb Bumpkus, who you see there in the green shirt, not the uh, green shirt sitting down, that's Miss Love, but standing up the sort of lighter lime green shirt, she now is has her own YouTube channel, and she's going live, and then she asks woody about something that on an ongoing case an ongoing investigation about the ex parte transcript uh which had so many implications uh illegal implications again this is all of course taking place in cash money g fanny willis's district she as the district attorney really sanctions and oversees a lot of the immunity uh, where the defense essentially offered immunity to Kenneth Copeland, little Woody, if he, whether or not he was telling the truth or not, only if he uh, uh, didn't decide to plead the fifth and actually testify, which that testimony has been, I mean, run through the gamut of viral videos because this guy is entertaining to say the least. And so, and then Kyla Bumpkus asks him in this live stream, this. Woody, is the transcript complete? You say no? You know that. <laughs> so guys, I just want to say that even though Woody fired me, as you all know, I still have to protect his interest. And I want to say we will not be talking about the case. We, he cannot answer anything. Woody, is the truth. Wait a minute. You can't answer anything about the case while you're actually talking about crucial evidence regarding the case. How does that make an ounce of sense? Fulton County, what in God's name is wrong with you? Is there anybody who has any credibility in the entire state of Georgia, in the entire county of Fulton County, in the entire city of Atlanta? Is there anybody that has any sense of right and wrong, any ethics? But wait, there's more. Not only did she go live and, quote, not talk about the case, but she went live again. And this time, Little Woody has his own YouTube channel. And you can tell, I, I watched this stream, you can tell that she was helping him because he doesn't know what he's doing. Big shock there. But she goes live again with Kenneth Copeland, a.k.a. Little Woody, on his channel. And listen to this. I just ask people, man, when they see me out, man, just approach me with couches like, you know, stand far back and get my attention. Just don't run up on me and get a little too close up on me, man, because I'm scary in real life. Like, I'm scared. I don't like making mistakes. Okay, so. Guys. And I say I'm scary. I'm saying I'm a scary individual, not as scary as in the boogeyman. <laughs> like you scared of stuff. Thanks for yeah, the I'm, clarification. I'm afraid, like, because I just want to. I just want to move forward. I ain't trying to backtrack. That's right. That's good. Okay, Woody. So we are going to talk about. If you don't mind, is it okay with you? I'm going to get on my computer. Hold on, I'm about to switch devices, and I want you guys to tell me 
some of your favorite moments from the trial. Can we go through some of the favorite Woody moments? They ain't gonna lock me up, is it? No, you're not gonna say nothing. So one second, let me switch over, and then I want you guys. Did you guys hear that? Didn't she just say in the in the previous live stream? By the way, the previous live stream was a couple of weeks prior to this one. This was only a day ago. Um, she said, "You, we, I, I'm going to protect him, even though he fired me, which makes no sense. And why are you guys even talking?" But then she says, "We're not going to talk about the case in the previous clip." And then now she says, "Let's talk about the trial. Let's talk about your fit." And he goes. Very actually astutely, he says they're not going to lock me up, are they? Because he knows he's not supposed to talk about. It. And she goes, "No, it's okay," because now she wants to be some kind of social media influencer or something. Like, what in God's name is going on here? What the police doing right now? Wow. <laughs> police right here in the street. They shoot. No, no, no. Why y'all didn't tell me they was out here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what she at. They just sitting right there in the street. You ready, Kaden? Yeah, I'm ready. We are not talking about the case. We are is talking about, oh yeah, we'll just talk about it. Okay, somebody said their favorite part is when Miss Hilton asks you, what is 372? <laughs> yeah, like, what is it? <laughs> okay, I think the most, okay, other than the you fire, a lot of people like when they say, how old are you? Hey, you had froze, I ain't hear you. They said, you heard me, everybody else said they like when you said, when she asked you, how old are you? How old are you? Um, I don't even think that matter. Like, I'm grown as hell. I've been making a lot of my own decisions, so. You hear me? Yes. Like, what? I ain't asked her how old she was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, this guy's yeah, driving and streaming, which can't be 100% illegal. Oh, oh, they said they like when they told you to identify Shannon and you almost passed out. Was everything okay? No. Can I say what they did to me? <laughs> go ahead. I'm talking about the jail situation. Yeah, go ahead. So what they did was I went to Rice Street. <laughs> On that Friday, I went to Rice Street. So they put me, they put me on, they put me in general population. And then I got on the jail phone and told everybody to put money on the phone and put money on my book. So when they heard me tell everybody to put money on the phone and on my books, they seen I was being comfortable. They moved me from Rice Street and put me in DeKalb County and put me in the dorm by myself with no water, with no phone and no TV. And it was stink. It was smelling like, it was smelling like, it was stink real, real bad, like like somebody else. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then they, they, they there was there was Saturday, Sunday. So when Monday came, the the uh the sheriff they're looking for me. They they didn't even know where I was. So when I finally woke up, they phone. They were like, Copeland, where you been? We've been looking for you. I was like, well, I, ain't too many places I can go. So they took me to the courthouse. And then it went from there. Okay. Is it true that you don't drink water? They said, do you really drink water? No, I don't drink water. Somebody said, did you pet Judge Glanville's dog while you were in the chambers? You s Can I say something about that? About the dog? Okay. Nah, I'm going to leave his dog alone because he, 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 like, he don't play about his dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got time for him. Say